Ashley. Ah, uh, welcome back, everybody, to Anderson's TV. Yes. Uh, we are looking today at the SY200 from B -B Boss. What are we looking at today, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> well, Nathan. Um, <laughs> Yeah, many of you will know that Boss and Roland have an enormous heritage in the whole guitar synth enormous. thing. Enormous. Enormous heritage in the guitar synth world, going right back to the 70s. Um, last year, they came out with a little compact pedal called an SY1. <laughs> Most affordable kind of synthy Boss pedal ever. It's over there somewhere. Sold thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Little bit of feedback, though, from you guys saying, Ah, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we could just maybe store presets, have a little few more ins and outs, do a little um, bit more with it. Yeah. Hey, and Lee, so, sorry hey, to interrupt hey, you, but hey, we did hey. actually do a video on that. Nathan and me. Did you? Dane is Pete. We're in the bass video. And we used the SY1. And if you want to watch that video, you can click the pop-up banner and just have a like and subscribe to another channel that is much more fun than this one. What he Whatever. said. Okay, so the SY200 is essentially that synth engine from uh -huh. the SY1, uh, but in a, a, a bigger pedal now. So we've got um, more switches, we've got um, memory locations, uh, we've got uh, what have we got MIDI. In here? We've in got and out. MIDI, we've got USB for updates, and we've got a send and return and things like that. Return um, of the send. We've hooked it up with the IR200, uh, which we've just shot a video on, which you can watch up here. Yes, please. Um, and I what like you're that. hearing is the guitar going into the SY200. Oh, love From the SY200, we split the signal, uh, <laughs> and we take <laughs> the synth sounds are going straight into our interface. The, we split the signal. <laughs> the dry <laughs> guitar sound is going into Pete's pedal board. Hello. And then into the IR200. Yeah, and then the IR200 is also going into the interface. You could, if you <laughs> wanted to, simplify that and just literally plug your guitar into the SY200 and the SY200 into uh, a guitar amp or into the desk and that would work. Or you Ooh. can take your guitar and plug it straight into an amp. Yeah. At the end. You'd have no <laughs> pedals at all. Simple the simplest thing. and cheapest And thing. get a keyboard player to play um, the Now, sounds. I'm glad you said that, Pete, because unlike early, uh, or I say up until probably five, six years ago, mm -hmm. the concept of guitar synth was uh, note comes out of the guitar, clever device works out what that note is. Little thing here. Changes it into yeah. a MIDI signal, tells another device to go and trigger, you know, the, a C a note trumpet. or whatever it is like that. <laughs> and then that device does that. Now, of course, uh, that was where people would say, well, the tracking is too slow, yeah, or was... you'd get weird things like your natural vibrato on a on a guitar, <laughs> you know, would just trigger, your note would go do, 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 you know, all it that It literally kind of sounded like... Just... Uh... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all that. So. The latest generation of SY technology that they're using in the SY1, the SY200, and the new um, Guru's guitar <laughs> Guru's. Uh, is oh, nice. all synthesis of the natural guitar sound uh -huh. rather than triggering a different sound. So obviously you've, you've got a, a sort of a, a bit more of a limitation onto the sound that you can trigger. You can't go and trigger a piano sound, for example. Trigger. But you have zero tracking, latency, no. weirdness. It's like it's whatever you play, have vibrato, tremolo systems, anything you like like that, the pedal works it all out and you're all good. So let's do some Sexy. of the presets. What you're going to see me in here controlling is uh, on this pedal here, if I turn this knob up and down, that's the volume of the synth. Mm. And over here, if I turn this knob up and down, that's the volume of the dry guitar signal. Okay. Um, if we were having everything through here, I'd do those two knobs from here. Blah -de blah. Uh, so here's, uh, we're going to the first preset, saw lead. Here's just the synth. Saw lead, get some ointment for that. Here's just the guitar. And of course, if I blend the two together. Pete is free at any point to stomp on pedals and oh, that will I only can... affect the, the guitar uh, side. Guitar let me do that, yes. so let me put the protein on both sides. It's funny because there's there's a way you play it's not funny if haha -ha funny, but it's when you attack it, you have to I don't know what if it's just me. 
I was just anyway, about to maybe say, it's a sore lead yes, thing. Yes, so obviously that sense, the, the sore sound here is a sound that swells in. So of course you're, you know, this sense of fast picking, you're, yeah. not, you're not letting the, the note soar in. Uh, yeah, anyway. you need to, you need to so be less So let's just sore. go through some presets and see what we find that we like. Okay. Is that a lead as well, isn't it? It's funny because you bet you do the bending. This would be a good one for a big. Yeah, you know, I'll swell in myself. You no, know, like I'm swelling. <laughs> you didn't need to turn all that off, did you? Yeah, because then otherwise I will have overdrive on it, of oh, course. Oh, that's true. Let's see. Anyway, did you guess what that song was? Uh, Could you tell what that song was? No. Do you sorry, I, knew, that, I knew it, but I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what it Anyone? was. Anyone? Come with a blow. No, it's one of the... Independence Day. No. No. It's, oh. a, it's a super, it's like a cartoon or superhero thing. No, but there's a new, there's a brand new film coming Days out. Days of Thunder. No, close. Uh, that's what I meant though, not Days of Thunder, the other one by him that was from ages it's ago. It's very up Top in... Gun. Yes, Top, Top Gun. Gun. I knew it was that. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, synth, uh, synth brass tones. I'll, I'll turn the guitar down, I think, for, for this. Yeah, so let's just, just do that and we'll stuff. see what happens. Whoa. I don't like that. No, next. No. Um... Here we go. Can I just say, you doing all these swells here and yeah. everything like that, you'd absolutely do that with an expression pedal plugged into the side and because you, you can, it just... No, because that's a different thing, isn't it? This is a volume, I'm doing the volume. Unless you can control you can. the volume. You can control the volume, oh. you can control any parameter that you would like. Well, that is very model. clever, I think. Uh, you. Now, obviously, patch number 10 is uh, Pete's signature. Dirty organ. <laughs> I like that. Dirty purple organ. So he's got it's those got little... peaky things. <laughs> Filter bass, what does that do? Filter bass. <laughs> That was a good one. Number 11 is definitely staying in the final cut. Hey. Uh, wide dual lead. Dual leaper. Mario Kart or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what? Uh, that S, uh, the IR two hundred sounds great. It, it's, it, it, it takes the pedals like. Yeah, I agree. I love that. Slow sweep. Slow uh, sweep. It's like trigger from Only Fools and Horses. Dark bass. Change the tempo on these. I think you can the middle one and the top. Tempo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much time we've spent going through presets and stuff like that. It was Pete fun. and I went through about 50 I mean, of them fun. and we will have just picked out the four or five of our favorite ones for the I've edit. I've still got tears rolling. Um, it's very simple to use this pedal. You can see as I go through the various presets, you've got this line of you know tone resonance and depth along the bottom. Periodically that'll change to a different uh, type of parameter like that one changes to rate, hey. tempo, etc. So wherever you are on whichever um, setting you're at, you've got a very quick access just using the buttons underneath to do those three parameters. Um, we talked a little bit more about this idea of the, the dry and the, and the effect levels here. And then you've got all these different variations of the type of synth sound that we've got. So I guess again, we'll quickly, or as quickly as we can, <laughs> whiz through the different types of synth sound that you've got in here. I kind of feel there's a sort of a underlying sense in this video that, that it's all about playing to the pedal, oh. to the synth sound. Yeah. It's not, I, I think you can quite easily, you get quite easily frustrated if you buy this pedal thinking it'll just add some sort of a layer to what you already play. I think you've got to buy this with a view that you're going to play different stuff to get the best out of the, yeah. of the pedal. You won't automatically become an organ player no. over, overnight just because you have an um, organ setting. So let's just go through a few of the variations of the lead setting. Uh, I will turn the, the dry yes. guitar all the way off for this part. It's quite riff based, some of these sounds. Mm. Almost like. Um, I think it'll suit bass players. So you get, you get, so you, this is the, you know, go back to, the, to that cool the song we had. And 
Jingle, back to the next one. I mean, it's usable, but it's so, so different. But you've got to find a different thing to play exactly, now, Exactly, yeah. It's just, it's like a little but, mouse. I, I'm for, <laughs> whenever I use these kind of pedals, I'm just forever reminded of some of those absolutely killer riffs that Jamiroquai came up with. Exactly. And it and it feels like you, you, you it would be easier to get inspired to write a riff like that if you had this great fat kind of synthy tone rather than just, you know, your normal guitar plugged into a guitar. But well, you know why I like it? You why? Know, it's very complicated, but to use, and you have to play to it, as you say, but because you are a guitar player, or bass player for that matter, a stringed instrument playing into what essentially is a synthesizer, it's a different way of approaching the instrument, and guitar players play differently from a piano mm. player. So you will approach the playing and the feel of it differently, which means that you come up with different riffs. Mm. That's the whole point. That's the whole in point. In my opinion. That is the whole point. Anyway, let's swizz through. So we go to the... Um, I mean, there's so many, so... We're gonna try some pad sounds now. See, some of them are monophonic as well, so you only get... And this one is not, so you can do... See, that's the beginning of a Bon Jovi song. No, it's not. Uh, the, that, the keyboard yeah, bit Yeah, the keyboard was. bit, yeah. Yeah, anyway. That's pretty impressive that it does String all the... String sound? It's been seven hours. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed that it does the polyphonic thing mm -hmm. so well. And then you're back to fizzle flutes. That's it. And then, then that's when you get, you can either put the, an expression pedal into the yeah. volume or you, I can. But see, I'm not an organ player, so I wouldn't, you know. These are this, all the bass ones. I think this awesome. is, this is.
I thought that was good. It was. What is that? Is that a choir? It's just called noise. Literally, that's the noise you play outside your kids' bedrooms at night, isn't it? You put, the, you put a long lead in under the bed, a little speaker. <laughs> little speaker. And you just go, or go back to the other one before that. Oh, wicked. Just put like a, like a black dress oh. and a black long wig I've... over your face in and just shuffle into the room and then shuffle out no, again just, in the middle just of the night. Open the door slowly and stand there. <laughs> Right, nearly there, everybody. Sequencer. Sequencer. The arpeggiator. <laughs> so there you got the thing. Lee Mal. I'm calling an instant uh, mallet. mallet. <laughs> I sense, you know, we um, probably did a reasonable job of uh, technically explaining what this does and then demonstrated again that it's, you know, perhaps not for the blues players. It's not blues licks for this. I mean, no. but it's an, it's an as I say a lot, it's an inspirational thing that you can use while you write music or, or you know, have bands, you write music with your friends in a band, you know. Do you know what that is? You know, you get a band, what, get friends? together with some people not a band. and actually play probably. <laughs> Don't go out and panic buy toilet paper and, <laughs> and fuel because that's just leads nowhere. Go out and get panic yourself buy, some mates and panic play buy some Panic buy SY200s and IR200s. No, panic, panic <laughs> buy. If you liked what you heard uh, then uh, and you want to go check out a bit more, maybe even purchase one, yeah. then links are below. Yes. Uh, they're £299, Mr. Really? Pete. Yes. Ooh. Got all the way to the end of the video and forgot to tell it. I to, think the other one, is, uh, the SY1, is about £169, Cor correct. 60, 65 maybe, something like that. Something yes. like that. So, yes. But it does do the extra bits, isn't it? Yes. So there you go. Please watch some more videos, like and subscribe, yeah. and you see you the next time. On Anderton's TV! Au revoir. Please, can we just do an overdrive video? <laughs>